Yeah. That's right. This is Juggalo Motherfucking Demon with a few response for the Beastmaster. But um, the whole Juggalo involved and whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, an, I'm just, I feel the same way, pretty much like how it was with, with you, you know. I was the wild kid fucking going, getting drunk before fucking shows, spraying figos, um, to the, uh, 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 people sitting in the fucking line waiting, walking around spraying everybody, you know, didn't give a fuck, spraying, you know, I was wilding out, you know, getting, you know, being drunk as a motherfucker, just wilding out in the parking lot, spraying everybody, you know, spraying people who weren't even fucking going to fucking shows, people just, that would just, Walking by on the outside, walking down Main Street by the Palladium, you know, just fucking spraying them up, you know, and all that shit. That's just me, you know, and all that stuff. Yeah, and I've noticed over the years, I've seen younger kids, you know, the younger generation doing that, and I don't get mad at them because if I got mad at them, that, that would make me a hypocrite, as I see, you know, and I'll be damned if I'm be a hypocrite. I'm not going to bitch at some little, at, some, at the younger generation wilding out doing things they're doing because I did the same thing, you know? <clears throat> but the one thing I have noticed over the fucking years of going to shows and all stuff now, back when I was wilding out like that, teenager and like that, I used to show up at the motherfucking show at like 9.30 in the morning and the parking lot would be packed, packed from beginning to end with ninjas and ninjets, you know what I'm saying? Used to be motherfucking packed. The parking couldn't even move in the parking lot. Pretty much, that's how fucking packed it was. It was like packed, packed from f to the fucking gills. You know, now lately, you know, you can go there about four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Doors open at seven. You can get there like an hour before the probably like two, three hours, like an hour or two before the doors open up, and the parking is like fucking dead. Nobody, you know, nobody. Like, I went to that Twisted show, the Twisted and Cotton Mouth King show, the one you missed. I went to that show, you know? Uh, you know? And all that shit. Um, I turned around. I got there about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Because the person I went with, we had to wait for, I had to wait for him to come to my house, pick me up, and all that shit. Then we bounced together on the bus. Because I don't drive any of this. So we took the bus, the bus in to, this, you know, to the show, you know? We get to the show. And the show... The, the parking lot was dead. It was like nobody there, nobody, and all that shit. You know, it's like what the fuck? Why ain't people showing? Why? How come people don't go to the shows early like they used to no more? You know, it seems like everything is dying out a little bit, little by little, little by little, little by little, little by little, and all that shit. That's just how I look at it. You know, you know, you know. And then on the inside, back when I was a kid, back when I first started going to shows, and all that stuff. Like going to concerts, and also, I was doing, I was in the, I was on in the motherfucking pit, wilding out, you know, Th through the whole fucking shit, you know, ripped the cage, pushed against the front, trying to get close, you know, be up in the front, fucking ripped, being buried into that, the, back in the day before they had the rails, you know, be at the front on the stage by the stage, fucking pushed, ripped fucking against the stage. You know what I'm talking about, you know? You've been there, you know. You're an old school ninja like me. You know, and then they got the nuts and they start doing that barricade and all that shit. And oh my fucking god, you know, like that's how I was. You know, nowadays though, fuck that. I go with my buddies. If I go, if I go to a Twisted or Doc Lotus or um, anybody like that, I'm up in the bleachers, up in the um, up in the balcony section with my wife. For, for, I'm on the front row balcony seat with my wife. That's where I sit at. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. My wife ain't in. You know, don't, uh, I'll, I'll explain a little something about her a little bit. She's a lat. But she's not all into ICP, ICP, you know. Don't get me wrong, she respects them for what they've done. She's just not into their music. And all that shit, you know. She likes Shaggy too, though, by himself. And all that stuff, she just doesn't like icy by ICP and St. Clown Posse, you know? So what, you can all say what the fuck you want about her and all that shit, but fuck you. She's a down-ass fucking, she's a down-ass fucking let, so fuck you. All right, back to what I'm saying about myself, you know? But if I go with my homies, 
and I'm seeing IC and I'm going to see ICP. First couple of acts, I'm up in the balcony with my homies or whatever, or where else with my homies. But I'm sorry to say, the minute fucking ICP sets fucking hitting the stage, guess where I'm at? I'm making my way down to the motherfucking floor. I'm squeezing my way through the fucking through the fucking crowd. I'm entering that motherfucking pit. Because I'm sorry to say, I do not go to a fucking ICP show and not get sprayed with fucking Fago. So, you know, I'm sorry to say, I still love, love the feeling of fucking wilding out in a motherfucking pit. Oh, uh, shit, you know. But that actually, it also all depends on how much aggression I have built up inside of me, you know? And all that stuff. But the first fucking shows I started going to were heavy metal shows, you know? I wasn't, you know, I'm originally, you know, I started out listening to Ozzy, Metallica, Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, you know, those are my f shows I first first started going to, you know. Then I progressed into Insane Clown Posse shows, you know. Um, yeah. So, this is my video response to you, Beastmaster. And plus, as a shout out to Beastmaster. So, what up, Beastmaster? Keep doing your shit. And, I, uh, and every other motherfucker out there who ain't subscribed to his motherfucking channel. To his main channel, Beastmaster, or his sub channel that he's got with Scotty Two Balls, another down ass fucking ninja, if you ask me. Have to get him a fucking camera, Scotty Balls. You know, we need to fucking see some more videos from your ass. Yeah, with that being said, much motherfucking wicked clown love to Beastmaster, Scotty Two Balls, and everybody else that fucking carnival spirits. Whoop, whoop, I'm out this bitch. Alright, and one last thing. Fuck you!